Fortunately for me, I speak several languages, so they don't know what the hell I'm saying to them. <laughs> Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 times celebs did interviews in another language. How much do you know? I know a lot in this <laughs> Asian, right? Upper leggy, upper leggy. Upper leggy. <laughs> for this list, we'll be looking at celebrities who flex their multilingual skills while promoting their work around the globe. Did you know these celebs could speak another language? Let us know in the comments. Number 20. Ben Affleck, Spanish In the actor's own words, he's a passable Spanish speaker. He and his brother Casey and their mom spent some time in Mexico while the boys were filming a TV series as kids. The brothers picked up the language simply from being immersed in it every day. He sounds pretty good, at least to those of us whose bilingual dexterity is limited to high school Spanish. Gracias, muy bien estar aquí, es un gran honor. Estoy muy contento estar aquí con mis con los actores que, que están en la película conmigo, es un buen noche. Affleck isn't afraid to demonstrate those so-called passive abilities on the promotion circuit either, dipping into his second language on numerous occasions. When he appeared on the Spanish talk show Despierta America, he even conducted the entire conversation in Spanish. En México cuando tuve 13 años, vive allá, y entonces supe, che, che, no tengo un perfecto vocabulario, los verbos, pero tengo acento. Affleck jokingly shared that his only concern is that his daughter is overtaking him in fluency. That's why I was like, nope, this is not happening. I don't mind that I can't do your math homework when you're 14 years old. But you will not be But better. you are not going to be better at Spanish than me. Number 19, Will Smith, Spanish. Even though The Fresh Prince has been entertaining us for decades, not many of us knew that he could speak Spanish. Su caso ha llegado a mi conocimiento y me gustaría conocerte. We heard him speak the language in seven pounds. But of course, this is a scripted performance that he could have just learned really well. So the biggest surprise came during this interview when we discovered that he could do a lot more than just read Spanish from a script. Muy, muy importante, you know, creo que um, en, en los Estados Unidos la gente habla uh, una idioma, pero, to, pero uh, todas las países del mundo la gente habla dos o, o tres idiomas. So. His language skills are bueno, and the accent is no va mal either. We're sure that this is always an exciting surprise for his Spanish-speaking fans. Yeah, you know, I mean... Oh, I mean... Uh, <laughs> uh, creo, creo que, que soy el mejor. <laughs> Number 18, Serena Williams, Italian and French. Okay, I'll parlo un poco di italiano. Uh, vorrei a dice... Un poco, un poco. As the enthusiastic reception demonstrates, fans were impressed by even the little Italian Serena claimed to speak. However, the more we hear her, the more it seems to us she's just being modest. She effortlessly transitions into the language during multiple press conferences, and much like her game, her skills are a grand slam. Mi piace tanto Roma. Uh, Roma è nel mio cuore. Uh, at, uh... Va bene, sono molto contenta oggi uh, per la vittoria. Williams also speaks fluent French, claiming one of the reasons was for her eventual French Open win. She said, I wanted to speak French when I won. She also said it was important because it's a mainstream language in many African countries. She's demonstrated her fluency in several interviews and indeed fulfilled her dream at the French Open as well. Parce que pour moi, dans ma tête, je pense, si j'ai période, avant, je travaillais beaucoup et je assez encore. Mais si je pense, eux, oh, je perds et je peux, c'est pas bon pour, pour les champions. Ah, oui. Number 17, Guy Ritchie, Hebrew. The director was first drawn to learn Hebrew following his fascination with the Jewish teachings of Kabbalah. Ken, aval, isha shali, hile de beit ivrit. So, kaha, anachnu. He first surprised his interviewer and Hebrew-speaking audiences when he promoted King Arthur in Israel in 2017. However, for many, Richie's language skills were a well-kept secret until the 2019 Aladdin live-action remake. Speaking with the Israeli outlet Ynet, he demonstrated an impressive conversational level of fluency. Yeah. 
שהסרט חדש, אבל את הזמן אנחנו צריכים להגיש הסרט... נוסטלגיה. כן. Some sources claim that he insists on promoting his work in Hebrew while in Israel. He shared that he had a good teacher who taught him via Skype. When asked why he chose to learn Hebrew, he responded, why not? <laughs> Number 16, Sandra Bullock, German. What is the perfect Antrag? How does he look? There is no perfect. There is no perfect. As the daughter of German opera singer Helga Mathilde Meyer, this actress was raised in a bilingual home. She spent 12 years of her childhood moving between Germany, Austria and the US, so her German is pretty fluent. And you, is this true that you grew up in, in Germany? Yes, between Germany and Washington, D.C. I never realized that. I know. Do you, how long were you Does in Germany? Does it make me more fascinating to you now? According to German publication Welts, though, the actress seems rather self-conscious when speaking her second language, perhaps due to struggling with its grammar, a plight that anyone raised bilingual will understand. Nicht perfekt, aber es geht. Du kannst es verstehen, also es geht. Haben Sie noch Möglichkeiten, Deutsch zu sprechen? Ja, die Familie in Deutschland. German can seem like a different and intimidating language to learn the best of times. But Sandra has flexed her Deutsch on several occasions. Wer hätte gedacht, dass alle diese Berufe mich eines Tages auf diese Bühne führen würden? Aber... We're no experts, but she sounds great to us. Tante Christel, Onkel Heinz, danke. Danke alle. Number 15, Colin Firth. Italian. Remember in Love Actually, when Colin Firth's character learned Portuguese to win over Aurelia? Claro que eu pensar que tu dizes na. Mas é Natal, é... É só... Queria saber. Well, it turns out that this wasn't a huge leap from reality for the actor. After meeting Italian film producer Livia Giugioli in 1996, Firth decided to learn Italian. Although in this case, it seemed like he was trying to impress his future in-laws. I know a lot of Italian to romanticize everything. But I have a great report with Italian, for obvious reasons. Now I have two Italian children. Certo. He became fluent in the language down to the hand gestures and impressed many more than just Giugioli's parents. He's done several interviews in Italian, including one at the Venice Film Festival. Who knows, maybe his next step will be starring in Italian movies. Questi mariti diversi con cui vive. Grazie a tutti voi presenti, grazie al jury, grazie al festival. Number 14, Christoph Waltz, French, English and German. The Inglorious Bastards actor was born and raised in Austria, so his native languages are German and English. However, he's also fluent in French, which is yet another language that can be heard in the Tarantino movie. Verdict. Comme je disais, pas si mauvais. Indeed, his multilingual skills impressed many critics, but his linguistic abilities extend so much further than reciting lines from a script. He is genuinely trilingual and can easily slip in and out of all three languages. Wald Einsamkeit. <laughs> okay, so A, the experience of wandering around alone in the forest and being overcome with a sense of woodland solitude. The internet is filled with interviews that showcase his talents for those who are interested. In some cases, he might even be speaking in one language and drop into another mid-sentence simply because it more accurately represents what he's trying to say. Number 13, Chris Hemsworth. Bahasa Indonesian. Indonesia? Apa yeah. kabar? Bye bye. Siapa siapa nama mu? Cinta Kio. Hmm. Nama saya Chris. 
In a 2015 interview that went viral, Chris Hemsworth shocked fans and his interviewer by recalling some of his school days and speaking Indonesian. As soon as the host introduces herself as representing Indonesia, Hemsworth gets in there and rattles off practically every sentence he can think of. Wow! No way! Bike? Oh, no, wow! No way. Needless to say, many of us were left astonished. We may not understand what he was saying, but we know we should be impressed based on the interviewers and Chris Evans' reaction. Indonesian is one of the foreign languages taught in Australian schools, and though Hemsworth admits he didn't pay much attention, he's clearly retained enough to make light conversation. Well, I was from like. Well, Melbourne, Sydney, it's like a six hour flight or something. But we learned it in school too. Oh, wow. Number 12, Kobe Bryant, Italian. When basketball legend Kobe Bryant was just six years old, his family moved to Rieti in central Italy. Naturally, while there, he picked up the native language and became accustomed to the culture. Certainly, sempre nel cuore. Guarda, nel, nel mio spogliatoio in Los Angeles, ho una maglietta di AC Milan, ho una scarpa. AC Milan, che lo, lo metto dentro il mio spogliatoio, eh, lo vedo ogni giorno. When he was 13, the family moved back to Philadelphia, but Brian kept up with his Italian. You can hear him speak it in multiple interviews, and it's astounding. Bro, è una, una, una bellissima cosa. Non ho mai visto questo, ma mi stava dicendo. Mi ha detto, devi venire qua a giocare. <laughs> He's completely fluent, so much so you'd think he was dropping Italian into everyday conversations all the time. Incidentally, the sports icon can also speak Spanish quite fluently and has done so at press conferences. He truly was a man of many talents. Now I feel very relaxed. I can play the championship with... Mucho más en mi Number 11, Joseph Gordon Levitt, French. Do, do you speak French? Well, no, but I will. This self proclaimed Francophile is so imbued with his love for the country and its culture that he decided to learn the language too. He even studied French poetry at Columbia University. While he played real-life Frenchman Philippe Petit in The Walk, we've yet to see him completely flex his French language skills in a movie role. Nevertheless, you can hear his impressive skill set in an array of interviews. Rumor, rumor. Il y a beaucoup de rumor, uh, mais um, c'est que ça, rumor. Of course, it's not perfect, but he's fluent enough to do entire interviews with confidence. For someone who's learned the language out of a passion for all things French, we have to say we're pretty impressed. Well, c'est c'est beaucoup de travail, mais mais si uh, si je suis arrivé ouais. uh, avec uh, ce cet uh, résultat, uh -huh. ça ça me dit uh, beaucoup pour uh, avoir un Français comme comme vous uh -huh. uh, dire ça. That that's what I wanted. Number ten, Audrey Hepburn, various. As well as being an icon of Hollywood glamour, Hepburn was an accomplished polyglot. She spoke several languages, including French, English, Spanish, Italian, and Dutch. Begon omdat toen deze hele avond moest de plannen maakte, en ik had Paul van Vliet in televisie gezien, nooit in theater. The actress was born to a Dutch mother and an Austrian-British father, and was raised as an English speaker, although clearly not from the East End of London if my fair lady is anything to go by. As for Spanish, French and Italian, she learned them later on. Hepburn was no stranger to flaunting her multilingualism on the press circuit. The internet is full of examples of her engaging in interviews in other languages. Yes, it's image de perfection inaccessible de Dr. Burr. De moi. C'est terrible. Oui, c'est terrible. C'est que... lourd à porter peut-être. J'aime pas penser que je suis euh, comme ça. Oui. We are no experts, but she sounds pretty amazing to us, no matter what language she's speaking. The rain in Spain stays mainly in the plain. I think she's got it. Number nine, John Cena, Mandarin. 
Speaking at a historic WWE press conference in China, the wrestler turned actor had us all in shock as he delivered a speech in seemingly eloquent Mandarin. WWE Shang-Yi Gong Bao Pu Guanglu Dazai Zhongguo Yi Chen Buddha Ro Renwei Jushu Huaishu. Supposedly, he studied language and music to keep his brain sharp. Cena explained that he became obsessed with Mandarin at the time that the WWE was trying to enter the Chinese market. He had two-hour sessions with a tutor to help him learn the famously tricky language. And by the way, that was like super tough. I'm still learning and my Chinese is really basic, but uh, it took, it's been five years now. Cena at one point used his abilities to insult Piers Morgan on Good Morning Britain and caused controversy by unintentionally and accidentally weighing in on the China-Taiwan conflict. He's since apologised for his mistake and what we assume is perfect Mandarin. He's kept us awestruck with how easily he seems to nail the language. <laughs> Jimmy Fallon. That's right, that's what you do, that's how you do it right there. Number 8. Natalie Portman, Various. Born in Jerusalem to an Israeli dad and an American mom, Portman grew up in a bilingual household. Indeed, you can hear her speak Hebrew in several interviews. <laughs> However, the actress went on to learn French, Spanish, German and Japanese to varying degrees. She even showed off some ASL in Paul McCartney's music video for My Valentine. And she'll be there, this love of mine, my valentine. She's also felt comfortable enough in her multilingual abilities to address audiences and interviewers in a range of tongues. We all knew that this Harvard grad was super smart, but being able to engage with fans in their languages is definitely part of what makes her so likable. Chai Beseret. This is a great one. This means you're living in a movie. Number 7. Gwyneth Paltrow Spanish Due to countless family holidays in France, the actor has a pretty conversational level of French. It was very bien, it was mignon, but now, in the third one, it is much more fort, much more interesting. Also, the relation between Tony and Pepper is a little bit complicated. However, when she was a teenager, she spent a few weeks in Spain and totally fell in love with the language and culture. Bueno, cuando tenía 15 años yo estaba estudiando español en el colegio en Nueva York y la profesora nos nos han dicho eh, bueno, hay una oportunidad a ir a España a estudiar ahí. So much so that she's tried to pass on her passion to her kids by speaking to them in Spanish and whisking them off to the country once a year. In this interview, for instance, Paltrow details her love for the country in an almost flawless accent. Y me encantó y fue como un, una temporada en mi vida muy importante. Y me encanta España, la cultura latina. She can act, she can sing, she's a successful businesswoman, and she can speak multiple languages. What can't she do? Number six, Lupita Nyong'o, Spanish. Yongo had her breakthrough role in the highly acclaimed 12 Years a Slave back in 2013. It was also around that time that we first discovered that she was fluent in Spanish. Nací en México porque mi papá estaba enseñando en el Colegio de México en el DF y nací en el tercer año que estaba allí y a, a los 16 años regresé a México para aprender español. Viví en Tasco Guerrero. The actor was actually born in Mexico, but her family returned to Kenya before she was a year old. As a teenager, her parents sent her back to Mexico to learn Spanish. Incidentally, she's also fluent in Luo and Swahili and identifies as Kenyan Mexican. Okay. Mm -hmm. Harraka, harraka, haina, barraka. Puedes decir algo en español? Me gusta hablar contigo así. In 2019, she also appeared on the Spanish morning show Nuevo Dia. 
Although she opted to mix it up between English and Spanish, she does so seamlessly. Ah, uh, porque uh, estaba haciendo, uh, bueno, est estaba en inspirada, inspirada de la condición spasmodic dysphonia. Number five, Bradley Cooper, French. For most of us, our high school language lessons are nothing but a distant memory. But for Cooper, learning French growing up only spurred his love for the language. Comment a débuté ta carrière? <laughs> Comment j'ai... Comment t'as démarré dans le métier? Ah, uh, comme j'ai commencé? Hmm? Oui, uh... He went on to study English and French at Georgetown and spent six months on exchange in Aix-en-Provence. And if you were unaware that he could speak another language, you're certainly not alone. It's surprisingly rare to hear Cooper flex his French, but on occasion, he will bring it out for interviews. Peut-être uh, je peux essayer en français. Essayer en français? Oui. Désolé si j'ai fait non, le non, pont, mais... Uh... <laughs> Clearly, he needed more reasons to make the fans swoon, because just being the amazingly talented Bradley Cooper apparently isn't enough. The meilleur interview de, de ma, ma vie. <laughs> <laughs> Trop gentil, merci. <Ouais. laughs> Number four, Shakira, French, Italian, and Portuguese. If you thought that being bilingual was impressive, Shakira's language skills will blow your mind. Oh, baby, when you talk like that, you know you got to hypnotize. So be wise and keep on. Not only does she have a phenomenal singing voice and hips that don't lie, but she's also impressively multilingual. In addition to her native Spanish and, of course, English, the Colombian-born singer can also speak French, Italian, Portuguese, and Arabic to varying degrees. No, capisco tutto. Però parlo italiano. Non lo parlo molto bene. So we have to be aware of what we say. Abbiamo bisogno di parlare l'italiano. Sì, 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 capisco tutto. Se vuoi parliamo italiano. Va bene. Ok. Allora, adesso mi ha paura, mi ha paura. It's obviously quite a handy skill to have when you're an international star and one that she's put into good use. Whether it's just a few sentences or the entire interview, we're sure that hearing Shakira speak their language is always a delight for her fans. But right now I'm, I've forgotten a little bit because I haven't been able to practice, so don't embarrass me right now. Yeah. <laughs> she doesn't want to be embarrassed because I'm very happy to be here. Number three, Jodie Foster, French. As a child, Foster attended the bilingual Lycée Français de Los Angeles, which is how she became fluent in French. Elle avait jamais quitté les États-Unis avant l'âge de 50 et quelques. Mm -hmm. Et là, elle est venue pour la première fois qu'elle qu qu est partie des États-Unis. Elle est allée en France. Elle a dit "C'est magnifique. Il va falloir que tu parles français et tu vas venir vivre ici." Her fluency helped propel her career as she was able to act in French movies and dub herself in translated adaptations of English-speaking films. Of course, this also means that she's no stranger to the French-speaking press either. You can see her give numerous interviews in flawless French throughout her career. So she doesn't want to destroy herself, so she destroys... It's a woman who says, I don't have plus want to be this sort of victim on myself. Je ne vais plus me détru détruire, je vais vous détruire. In 2011, she hosted the French equivalent of the Oscars, the César Awards. As if that isn't cool enough, she also speaks a relatively conversational level of Italian, Spanish and German, which you can also hear in a few interviews. How do you feel tonight? Como te sientes esta noche? Me siento muy bien. I feel great. Number two, Tom Hiddleston. French, Spanish, Italian and Greek. Todavía no me he olvidado el traje de gorila. Ajá, exacto. Is that right? Muy, muy buen trabajo, yeah. Which is that I haven't forgotten the gorilla suit. The actor's profound interest in language has proven rather useful when connecting with his fans around the world. I suppose it is our primary tool of externalizing the many complex feelings and thoughts we have as human beings. Hiddleston has learned so many additional ones to his native English that we could easily write a top 10 just about that. Of course, he's more fluent in some than others, but he is comfortable in almost any language. Aussi, il est uh, très très charmant, il mm. est élégant, il est uh, il est un joueur. Um, 
il, euh, il aime euh, euh, provo provoquer. He's given interviews in French and Spanish, plus showed off a little Italian and Greek, among other languages as well. We can only imagine the joy that his fans feel when they hear him speak their language, as if we needed another reason to love him. And toisi deinois tumon ukapolesen alorton usistesen hosatoste u hemas hotrunes kautosen protoisepe. It's amazing. <laughs> Electra. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Charlie Seren Afrikaans. It's great to hear her in her native Afrikaans. I mean, it's very difficult to speak Afrikaans to as there is one person who speaks Afrikaans and no one speaks back, so it's a bit of a snack. So. Mark Zuckerberg, Mandarin. He surprised everyone at a Q&A in Beijing. China is a very big question. I think that I learned English language. So, Donna Summer, German. The singer picked up the language after living in the country for several years. Ich habe viele, viele Leute kennengelernt, die jetzt meine deutsche Familie sind. Um, und uh, deswegen bin ich nach München gegangen, damit ich sie alle zusammenbringen können, dass wir mal Mahlzeit zusammen haben kann, weil ich in Deutschland bin. Timothy Chalamet, French. He spent many summers with his grandparents in Le chambon sur lignon a small village in France. J'ai beaucoup de gratitude, ça se dit en français, oui. Et, uh, et franchement, j'ai toujours voulu être acteur ou être dans des, dans des films, alors, alors avoir la possibilité de travailler, travailler souvent, avoir la possibilité de payer mon, mon euh, loyer. Mon loyer. <laughs> Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Viggo Mortensen. Various. Arguably one of Hollywood's greatest polyglots, it feels like there's no language Mortensen hasn't mastered. It was so smukt. It was so unusual to be at a place. I couldn't really explain it. And when I've been with the Ringnes here... The Danish-American actor grew up in a bilingual household but can speak seven languages to varying degrees. He's fluent in English, Spanish, Danish and Canadian French and can hold conversations in Italian, Catalan and Arabic. No, pero después qué hacen? Porque yo tenía en mente que había un montón de, de piernas y brazos no, y cosas no, claro, de... detrás del hospital, no sé qué. Te colocaban no, uno nuevo, era. Como la, porque como es un pollo y bueno, que era lo bueno. <laughs> He's used his multilingualism throughout his career, both for roles and to promote his work worldwide. It's a handy set of skills to have and has no doubt helped cement his reputation as an international star. Between his many achievements, eclectic career and an awe-inspiring array of languages, it's almost unfair how talented one man can be. Mais je suis content dans la forêt aussi. Je suis content d'être seul, de, de ne parler pendant quelques jours. Mm. Ça me va. C'est pas tout le monde que aime ça, je comprends. Mm. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.